my channel and welcome if you're new here. My name's Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I'm on the WW or Weight Watchers Blue Plan. Today I have another copycat recipe series video for you. I did my first one not too long ago where I shared three fast food copycat recipes that were WW friendly and amazing. I will link that video down below for you. Today I am back with two more copycat recipes. This time we're talking comfort food soup chili recipes from some of your favorite restaurants. Not only are they less expensive to make, they're calorie friendly and point friendly and equally, if not even more delicious than the fast food or food restaurant version. So I am so incredibly excited about today's video. If you are new, I'd love for you to stick around and subscribe, hit the little bell next to it so you're notified whenever new videos are uploaded you certainly don't want to miss out. Also, make sure you thumbs up this video if you enjoy recipes and copycat recipes and check out that description box down below where you're going to find my website where you can find and recreate these recipes. They will be on my website, jenswwjourney.com. You're also going to find my nutrition coaching website. I would love to at least figure your macros and calories out for you. I offer one-on-one -on -one coaching and group coaching, lots of options, so check that out. And lastly, you're going to find links and discount codes to all of my favorite things and the link to head over and join me on Facebook. We'd love to have you join that community over there. So definitely check out the description box down below. So without further ado, let's make two delicious comfort food copycat recipes. tonight's copycat recipe we're going to be making Panera bread broccoli cheddar soup we are going to make this WW friendly calorie friendly and we're even going to pair it with a baguette so we really really copycat simulate Panera so let me show you what's in our recipe first you're going to need some salt and pepper low sodium chicken broth whole milk butter or butter alternative of your choice. I'm using melt plant-based butter. You could also use, I can't believe it's not butter light and just recalculate your points. It very well could make them a little bit lower. You'll also need flour, light shredded cheese. I'm going to do the Trader Joe's. You'll also need some Velveeta shreds. You could do Mexican style cheddar, really any type of the Velveeta shreds will work. A big bag of frozen broccoli florets, either some carrots that you're going to julienne cut, or you could also buy shredded carrots already shredded in a bag. And last but not least, an onion. And for bread, I'm going to be making this essential baking take and bake sourdough loaf. I picked this up from Imperfect Foods. You guys know I love them. It is linked down below. You get $10 worth of free groceries, no minimum order. So you can go pick your $10 out, pay the shipping, and have it sent to your doorstep. So we're going to bake this up so we have that nice crusty baguette to dip in our soup. So let's get started on dinner. So in my big stock pot here, I have two tablespoons of butter. I'm gonna go ahead and get this melted and then we're going to add in some flour to kind of make a paste before we start with our broccoli, milk and cheese. Once the butter is melted, we're going to go ahead and add in two tablespoons of all-purpose flour and then we are going to stir until the flour and butter is combined and a paste is formed. Then I have one cup of whole milk. I'm going to add it in slowly and stir as I go. We want to make sure that the milk gets combined really well with that flour and butter mixture. We want to make sure that we don't have any big chunks. Look how nice and thick that is. Now we are actually going to add the entire bag of frozen broccoli and the entire eight ounce bag of whatever Velveeta cheese that you're using. So again, I'm using the cheddar. So we're actually going to add the entire bag, give it a stir, make sure it gets nice and coated in the flour and milk mixture. We're going to let the cheese melt completely before we add in our next ingredient, which is the chicken broth. Once your soup is fully combined, our cheese is completely melted now. We are going to add in the cup of chopped carrots. Again, you can really chop them however, julienne, shredded, whatever you can get your hands on, but I just went ahead and chopped mine 
fairly small and we are going to let this cook for about 10 minutes. We wanna make sure that those carrots start to soften. We have our crusty bread in the oven. Woo, you guys are getting steamy. Okay, so bread is in the oven. It's going to cook for about 15 minutes. This came to a boil, which is completely fine. And you know what else I was thinking? I haven't had Panera's soup for a long time. Are the broccoli pieces this big or are they smaller? Like what you would find in like a store-bought broccoli and cheddar. So I'm thinking once this is all done, I'm going to pop mine in the blender to kind of puree the carrots, onions, and broccoli down. So let me know if you are Panera connoisseurs if the broccoli is big chunks like this. And the last step is to add one cup of the light shredded cheese. I'm going to stir this in and then again, I'm going to pop this in my blender to puree it down so we just have little teeny pieces of broccoli and carrots. So I went ahead and added the soup here to my Ninja blender. And again, I'm gonna puree this down. Okay, this looks really good. So there are no more big chunks of broccoli. So I think this is more how the soup is supposed to be. Again, let me know down in the comments. Of course, you could leave your bro broccoli chunks whole if you wanted. I'm pretty excited. This smells really good. So the last step is, is we are just going to add in a little bit of salt and pepper to taste. Our bread is just about done. And I'll be back to show you dinner and give you smart points and calories. All right, so here is dinner. Oh my gosh, doesn't this bread look amazing? So that big pot of soup only makes six servings and it is seven smart points per serving for the soup. I'm going to have just a small piece of the bread that is three smart points. So this, you guys, is a 10 smart point dinner. And this soup, by the way, I tasted it, is amazing. So I can't wait to dip in that crusty bread. So dinner, 10 smart points. tonight's copycat recipe we're making skyline chili now i don't have a skyline where i live but i have heard rave rave reviews about their chili we love chili in this house so i'm pretty excited about this it has chocolate in it so that makes me a bit nervous my husband hates chocolate so i'm hoping that that flavor doesn't come through but yeah we're gonna make the a chili and we're gonna see how we like it everything shown here is what you need for the recipe minus five cups of water. I just didn't show the water, but you'll need five cups. So here are the rest of the ingredients. Sugar or sugar alternative of your choice. I'm just gonna use this monk fruit sweetener. I do not have any baker's chocolate. I thought I did and I don't. So I'm just going to use cacao powder. This is unsweetened. So it's gonna be very similar to baking chocolate. I also have Lily's baking chocolate, but it's sweetened, I believe. So I'm just gonna go with this. Apple cider vinegar, salt and pepper tomato paste a six ounce can of tomato paste and the recipe calls for a pound and a quarter of ground beef i'm just doing a pound to make it easy and then we need a lot of seasoning so red chili pepper flakes chili powder cinnamon and i'm going to sub the dax pumpkin spice in place of cloves and nutmeg and allspice and all those pumpkin-y seasonings because all of those are in this and it just makes it a lot easier. I love Dax, no MSG, no salt, all natural, clean, clean ingredients. So if you are a big fan of no MSG flavorings with lots of deliciousness, check out Dax. I do have 10% off and free shipping and I'll put that down below for you guys. I have every one of their seasonings. You can't go wrong, but this pumpkin spice is the bomb.com. So I'm gonna use that. And then we need cumin, and last but not least, some garlic powder. Let's make some Skyline Chili. You're going to need quite a large pot for this recipe because we're adding five cups of water. So make sure you're using a Dutch oven or a large stock pot. So I'm going to go ahead and add my five cups of water. So there is four in this glass measuring cup, and then I went ahead and added an additional cup of water to the smaller one and then to the water we are going to add our chocolate so this is half of an ounce of cacao powder or you would do half of an ounce of baking chocolate and then I'm going to add my entire can of tomato paste whisk it together until combined 
Once the tomato paste is combined really well with the water and the cacao powder, we're going to add about a quarter of a teaspoon of chili powder. Now I'm not measuring, I'm just going to kind of wing it. We're also going to add some ground cinnamon, same about a quarter of a teaspoon. We want one full teaspoon of garlic powder. And then we want one full teaspoon of cumin. And cumin is going to give it such a delicious flavor. And then we are going to add our pumpkin pie spice, about a teaspoon of that. And again, that's in place of the allspice and the cloves that are in this recipe. And then one eighth of a teaspoon of red pepper flakes. Again, we do not like our food spicy, so I'm being very mindful of that. I'm going to put in a good pinch of salt and a good sized pinch of pepper and stir it together. And lastly, two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar and one half of a teaspoon of sugar, which I just put in with the apple cider vinegar. And again, give that a quick stir. So you can see that I went ahead and added the raw I know it sounds weird ground beef to the pot here go ahead and break it up the best that you can I did you can see I kind of crumbled it as I popped it into the stock pot and then we are going to bring this to a boil once your chili has come to a boil we're going to reduce our heat down to medium low and then we are going to let this simmer at a very very low boil for about one to one and a half hours and that way it'll become nice and thick the flavors will really start to meld together and then periodically you just want to give it a quick whisk to make sure that everything is stirred. So we have been simmering for about an hour and a half. It's nice and thick. So this entire pot makes six servings and it is only three points per serving. Now the recipe says to serve this over spaghetti noodles, which is super weird to me, or to serve over hot dogs and make like a chili dog. So I'm opting to do neither of those things and we're just going to have it in a bowl with some cheese so i'm going to serve up one sixth of this for three points and i'll be back to show you my dinner all right so here's my dinner this is one sixth of the chili and i went ahead and just topped it with some full fat medium cheddar cheese for three points so this is six points not bad for chili with full fat cheese it smells really really delicious so by the time you see this video obviously i would have tried it I'll put it here on the screen, my thoughts, but you guys have to tell me this whole thing with putting it on spaghetti noodles. Thank you for joining me on today's copycat recipe video. I hope you enjoyed both the broccoli cheddar soup and the skyline chili. Who'd have thought that chili was so delicious. These are much more affordable, calorie friendly, low point options. So definite, definite must makes for both of these recipes. You will find these recipes on my website, which is linked down in the description box, along with my nutrition coaching website, links and discounts to my favorite things. And of course the link to head over and join us on Facebook, come over and join us there. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and please take a moment and hit that little red subscribe button and the bell next to it so you're notified whenever new videos are uploaded. You certainly don't wanna miss any. Thank you guys again so much for hanging out with me and I'll see you next time.